Ladies, have you ever wondered what were some words, some phrases, or some sentences that you can say to a man to make him fall for you? In today's video, I am going to share eight tender phrases to make a man fall madly in love with you. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now let me be the first to tell you that there is no cheat code to make a man fall for you, to make a man fall madly in love with you. But these are some words, some sentences, some phrases that you can use and start incorporating in your dating situation. Or even if you are married, these are some strategies and some words that you are going to want to put in your back pocket. But before we get into it, I need for you to put in the comment section, ladies, what are some things that you have said to a man to just reel him in and make him fall for you? And fellas, if you are watching this too, put in the comment section, what are some words, some phrases, some sentences that a woman can say to you that is going to make you fall madly for them too? And oops, a bonus just popped into my spirit. Instead of me giving y'all eight, I'm gonna give y'all nine. Number one is being with you feels like home. Now, we're not talking about a geographical location. We're not talking about a specific place, but we're talking about being around you, being in your presence feels safe. It feels at ease. It feels like when I'm with you, boo, <laughs> there's no worry in the world. And this isn't just about saying that, but it's about making that a reality. So if you are saying being with you feels like home, you wanna make sure that when he is around you, it actually does feel like home, that it's safe, that he doesn't have to fight you, just not physically, hold on. <laughs> we don't do physical fighting and violence on this channel, but you don't have to be fighting and arguing with this person when you're in their presence because they are a safe space for you. Typically when you are in the world, especially if you are male or a black male, you have to put on our black female too, actually. But anywho, I digress. When you are in the world, sometimes it beats you up. It throws you curveballs. It throws all of these things your way and you want to be around people, things and places that is just going to just calm everything down. You can be your authentic self around them. So the first one, being with you feels like home is a game changer. Now, before I move on, I forgot to mention this. I don't want you to think that if the exact words that I say are not stated, then it's wrong or ineffective. I'm just letting y'all know that these are variations and things that you can mention and can say, but you can put your own spin on it. You can put your own flair on it, put your own sauce on it so you can make it authentic and it feels genuine coming from you. The second one is that your support means the world to me. I think men, especially if he is someone who is ambitious, if he has goals, if he has things that he's trying to accomplish in life, who doesn't want to be supported? You know, like you want to have some type of physical support, emotional support, someone that's just there for you through the up, downs, roller coasters, twists and turns that life can potentially bring you when you are trying to accomplish a thing. So to know that your woman got your back, to know that she gonna pull up and make sure everything is okay and you don't have to worry about anything. I think that support is something that he will never forget. I'm sure he's had relationships in the past or people in the past, whether that's family, friends, coworkers, colleagues, people in the community, whoever, who did not support him. So he knows very well what it's like for other people not to support him, but because you're his chick, because you're his woman, because you're his boo, you want him to know like, regardless of what has happened in the past with you and other people, I'm here to support you with whatever endeavors you have on your plate. The third tender phrase that you can say to a man to make him fall for you is you make me want to be a better person. I know this sounds a little cheese ballish and that isn't my goal here, but it really does speak to how when you're in relationship with someone or when you're dating someone or you're trying to pursue something authentic with someone, you want to make sure that they're pulling out good attributes and good characteristics of you. This is why so many of y'all get in trouble because y'all with some fool <laughs> who makes you step out of your character, who shows the shadow and the dark and the ugly sides of you instead of him really nurturing the goodness of who you are. We talk a lot on this channel about making sure you're good in every single area. So hopefully he is pulling out the best of you emotionally, physically, 
spiritually, financially, if you're finding that he is pulling you away from your goals, if you are finding that things are off track every time you get around this person and they causing you to spend more when you're in a saving mode or they're jeopardizing your mental health, <laughs> it's time to reevaluate some things. It's kind of like every time I'm around him, I want to be better. I want to read more books. I want to go back to school. I want to pray more. I want to go to therapy. I want to better myself. I want to work out more. I want to eat cleaner. When you are noticing that there are some positive things in your life that you want to do because of this man, <laughs> He probably a keeper. The fourth phrase that you can say to a man to make him fall with you is I love spending time with you. I know this is another one that you might be like, oh, Keandra, these are so cheesy. But it's true when you are enjoying spending quality time with somebody and their presence brings you joy and you're laughing and having fun and enjoying yourself and it's just a good day and a good time. Every time you're around this person, it's okay to say that to them. It's okay to let them know like, I really enjoy spending time with you. You know, I could be hanging out with anybody else, anywhere else, but I'm choosing to spend quality time with you. So it's important to verbalize those things to him so he knows like, wow, she's enjoying my presence. She's enjoying just being around me. If I'm being honest, it isn't even about what you do during that time. I know people and couples who can sit at home on the couch, do nothing, watch TV or something, and they're enjoying each other's presence. And that's really what you want. You want somebody who you can be around and enjoy being around and like being around even when you guys aren't doing something. It doesn't take a trip. It doesn't take going to the movies or going to your favorite. It doesn't take all of those things. If I can enjoy your presence in the midst of nothingness, that's super powerful. The fifth tender phrase that you can say to a man to make him fall for you is thank you for fill in the blank. Now I've said this a million times on this channel, but men enjoy being thanked. They want to know their efforts, their energy, the things that they pour into you, the finances that they spend, all of those things are not going to be taken for granted because we know there's tons of women out there who are for real gold diggers and they just going out to dinner because they want a free meal or they're just going here because they want to spend time or, you know, pass time. And men are getting tired of that. <laughs> when I talk to my single homeboys about stuff like this, they're like, yeah, like women take advantage all of the time. So when you say thank you for Thank you for spending money on me. Thank you for buying me my favorite candy. Thank you for that birthday gift. Thank you for calling me when you said that you were. Thank you so much for being there for me when so-and-so died. Thank you for, thank you for, thank you for. Let that be a part of your regular vocabulary. Whether he says you're welcome, whether he says, oh, you don't have to thank me, it does not matter. You need to continue to express thankfulness and gratitude in this relationship because if not, he is going to take notice eventually and he's not going to continue to do the things that you want him to do because you haven't showed thankfulness. Cause look, every man that I know who's like, thank you, babe, thank you for doing that for me. Thank you, guess what he does? <laughs> he wants to do more of that thing to put a smile on my face because it's gonna eventually help him out later on down the road too. So it goes hand in hand. Make sure you are expressing thankfulness consistently, continuously for the big, for the small, for everything in between. Before I move on to number six, look, if you are enjoying this list and you enjoy information like this, please do not forget to like, to comment, to subscribe, and to share this with a homegirl or a homeboy who needs it because this helps me to continue making amazing content like this just for you. The sixth tender phrase that you can say to a man to make him fall for you is, I trust you. Now you got to mean it. You got to really trust him in order to say, I trust you. Don't just be out here saying you trust him and he's not trustworthy. <laughs> I hope y'all caught that. Trust being trustworthy and trusting somebody goes hand in hand. So you can't just be out here saying stuff like I trust you when they have consistently shown that they can't be trusted. They drop the ball. They don't do what they say they're going to do. They don't operate in excellence and integrity. Y'all know those are my two favorite words, okay? Excellence and integrity. They're just not operating on that level. So I'm not about to sit up here and tell a man that I trust you when I really don't. 
or when he's not exhibiting trustworthy behavior. Hopefully he is. So you are enforcing and reinforcing the fact that I can trust you with anything. That means finances. That means with my deepest, darkest secret. That means physical protection. If something go down somewhere, you know that he ain't gonna leave you stranded and stuck. That means emotionally, I can trust you that I can tell you something and my business is not gonna be out in the street. It encompasses a lot of things. So make sure that if you're saying to this man that you trust him, make sure you really do. But I think that that's gonna encourage him to be like, dang, whatever I'm doing with this chick is working. I need to continue to do the behavior that I have been doing because now she's letting me into her world. Now she's welcoming me. Now her guards are down and I can come in and just love all up on her, right? And allow her to be in a space where she's trusting me and I'm trusting her. It's all about reciprocity. And before I move on to number seven, I just have to say that you better believe that I am going to do another video specifically on the tender phrases that women love to hear to make a man fall in love with her too. So stay tuned for that. I'll link it up here once that drops. The next one is, I love the way that you do blank or I love when you do blank. This one is about loving what he does and when he does it. And expressing that to him goes back to what I previously mentioned, that it's going to make him want to put a smile on your face. It's going to make him want to do things more often for you because you're expressing, hey babe, I love when you massage my feet. Hey babe, I love when you show up and you bring me food when you know I'm hungry. <laughs> hey babe, I love when you kiss me on my forehead, right? Like all of these things is essentially teaching him how to treat you. And if you never say anything, if you're not verbalizing those things, he really don't know. One thing I know about men is that they're very concrete. They don't do gray area very well. Like you need to tell them what you want them to do. You need to express that to them and then they typically will do it. But if you don't say anything and you're like, well, he's just supposed to know I've been with him long enough and he's just supposed to read my mind and he should know this by now. Don't have that type of energy, okay? If he needs for you to say some things to him in order for it to get done, so be it. Number eight, the eighth tender phrase to make a man fall madly in love with you is can we try this again? Can we start over? Now this speaks to something a little bit different. All of the other ones up until this point were lovey-dovey, we're in a good phase, we're you know sharing this energy, there's positivity here. This is happening because there has been some type of rupture or some type of breach in the relationship. So that means if you tell him, hey baby, can we start over? Can we start again? Can we rewind and redo this thing? It takes ownership. It takes responsibility that you did something wrong and that you're willing to work on it, that you're willing to fix it. And it's not just all on him, right? We're not playing the blame game here. You did this. No, you said this. No, you, 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 you. That's immature. But taking responsibility and knowing that you value the relationship and you don't want it to end really is a powerful thing. And it's okay to say, you know what, babe, I got that completely wrong. I'm so sorry. Can we start over? And that could be, can we start this relationship over? Or it could be, can we just start this day over? Can we just start this conversation over? Can we just start the last 10 minutes over because I had a funky attitude or I didn't come in here with the right energy and I'm owning that and I want to redo this over again so I can manage this in a better and an effective way. If he's a real man and an emotional mature man and an emotionally intelligent man, he is going to be like, yeah. Absolutely, because what this does is it shows that when there's ruptures, when there's disagreements, when there's arguments in your relationship, that you're going to want to keep trying and putting effort in as long as the relationship is able to be salvaged. Last but not least, number nine, the bonus is you look good, you look fine, you look sexy, however you want to phrase it for you and your man, letting him know that he looks good always is gonna make him fall for you, okay? I don't think men get enough compliments. We think that they do, but women are often the recipients of a lot of compliments. Oh my God, you're sexy, you look amazing, you're beautiful. Those are things that guys typically tell us often, right? So we get a lot of compliments on a regular basis for the most part, even from strangers when you're out, right? But typically men don't always get compliments. So when you tell him, babe, you look fine right now, you just got a haircut, What's up? 
or oh, you look really nice today in your suit, you know, or whatever happened. Like, I think that that is so, and just watch him smile. Just watch how he lightens up. Just watch how he's like, dang, my woman, my boo, my babe think that I'm looking good. And it makes him want to continue to do those things. We all want to be in relationship with someone who looks good. We don't want to be with nobody that's raggedy, okay? Every now and then people have their moments. But him getting a consistent haircut, him keeping his shoes clean, him rocking his jewelry or wearing certain clothes or smelling good and, you know, all taking care of himself, right? I think that those are really things that need to be acknowledged. And if you like it, tell him so he can keep doing it and so y'all could be fine together. So while I give my final thoughts on this, I just think that I could have incorporated a whole bunch of different things and maybe I'll do another video talking about some additional things that men can say, but I'm interested in hearing what the men have to say. I'm interested in hearing from y'all too, if y'all know some other things that you have said or that you have heard other women say that works and that is effective. Again, this isn't some manipulation tool, some magic words to say, and then you know it's going to magically be okay. That's not what this is. This is just you giving tools and getting tools that you can keep in your back pocket, that you can be aware of. So when you are in partnership, when you're in a relationship, when you're in a marriage, you want to be able to just share some things that is going to keep the communication between you guys effective, not stale, that is constantly evolving and growing. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I will see you next time. Be blessed.